Someone who knows a lot more about avian flu, I imagine, than, uh, than I do. Uh, we are now joined by Dr Matthew Bates, who's Associate Professor in Microbiology at the University of Lincoln. Thank you very, very much. Right, how scared should we be? Hi, Patrick. Hi, Naya. Hi, yeah. How scared should we be? Should we be terrified? Um, it depends who you are. You know, if you're a city slicker and uh, you don't go anywhere near any wild birds or any hens, um, I don't think you need to be concerned at all. But if you keep poultry, um, then obviously there's a risk of you losing your flock if you get an infection in your flock, which um, you obviously want to avoid. So I guess that's my answer. Uh, but, but I mean, in this case of, of one person now apparently having contracted this, this strain of it, I mean, is, are we, yes. we're, not, we're, not, we're not in another pandemic territory here, are we? No, the, the threat to humans is very low. So... Um, this virus, this avian flu virus, H5N1, can infect humans, but cases have been few and far between, and they're virtually always in people who are working closely with the poultry. And I think there's virtually no evidence of sort of onward transmission from a human to another human. There has been sort of clusters of cases where you get a few cases uh, at the same farm, but maybe they've all had a similar exposure because they're all people who've been... Um, in contact with the birds. Okay, all right. I mean, I did, there was a there was a there was a bird flu scare a few years ago, wasn't there? I think I seem to remember that was that that was that was that was big. Um, gosh, I remember when bird flu was big. Anyway, but um, we're, we're not we're not we're not there again now. Are we? It's nothing. He's like you said there. The risk would be relatively mild. Is it, does it? It's a stupid question. This does, does it just give you a cold? Um, no, H5N1, if it does infect you, is actually quite severe. So the mortality rates are up to 50%. So it's not a virus that we want to uh, mutate to be able to spread in humans. But, of course, that risk is always there. And, of course, as long as there's H5N1 going through poultry and wild bird populations, you've always got that potential, however unlikely it might be, for some chance mutation to occur that allows it to then spread more effectively from human to human. So, um, you know, we want to try and control this virus and keep it out of our um, domestic poultry. 